Hello everyone. How do you sound naturally in English? Now that is a big question because people ask me. I've learned all the vowel sound. I've learned the consonants. And how do I sound natural in English, without sounding like I've memorized the whole sounds? That's a very good point, right?、Um, a couple of things to note about English language. It is a stress timed language. So it's not a syllable.、Um, Syllable timed, it's stress timed.、So、that means the word. When I mean stress, I mean emphasis. So you have to put the right emphasis on the right part of the word, so that you actually stress the word correctly. Okay. So for that to happen, you need to listen to which parts of the syllables. And this is only a listening task, unfortunately.、Um, and more more often than not, English words、uh, emphasize more on the second part of the word. If it's a two-syllable word, the second part of the word is more emphasized than the first part, like the word about. So a b o u t. This is this is a story about、um, Jack and Jill something. So you,、uh, about. So a、uh, is not so stressed. About about is more stressed. I hope you get that quite nicely and clear. About or around. I have to go around this. So not around this. Around this, so your ear is quite distressed, and round is more stressed because not because. Does that make sense? So you, if it's a two-syllable word, listen to where the stress is. It's more often than not on the second part of the word. I hope you guys got that one.、Um, I will talk more about that and more words. If you'd like me to cover more words, let me know. I will cover them all. However, I can go to the next point. It is. <clears throat> so you want to also, when you're speaking in a sentence, you want to emphasize on the meaning of the word of the main content of your sentence. So let's just say, I was walking to the kitchen with a heavy bag of vegetables. So the main meaning of the sentence is, I walking kitchen with heavy bag vegetables. So you want to emphasize all of them. So I was walking to the kitchen with a heavy bag of vegetables.、Um, you know, you're not emphasizing so much on I was walking to the kitchen. No, with a heavy bag. No, and you don't want to emphasize the word the. So I was walking to the kitchen with a heavy bag of vegetables. So you have to pick the content words that you want to make meaning on. Now this is really quite tricky, and this requires quite a lot of practice. And、um, I would highly suggest listening to English nursery rhymes and actually copying them because they stress、uh, the content words, and they stress they've got a nice、um, rhythm and stress with them. And I think it's very important to listen to, to simple English rhymes to pick up how they stress the words, because you'd find more often than not you'd be quite different. The next point I like you to do is link up the words, so you don't have to. When you are speaking, when you are learning them, you learn them separately. I am walking to something, something, something. However, once you get really comfortable with that, you want to link them up together. So you know, it's a brown cup. It is a brown cup. That's how you learn it as it is a brown cup. But when you speak it, it's a brown cup. So it's called elision, where you kind of join the words together. It's a brown cup, not it's a brown cup. Another one is、uh, another one sentence is can I come? Can I come? So that is paused. Can I come? This is when you're learning it, right? So when you're speaking it, I like to go. Can I come? Can I come with you? Right? Not that. Can I come with you? That is a different accent and stress. I hope you can under,、uh, hear the difference with them for that one. Um, yeah, so I think those kind of things. You,、um, if you can, if there is any poetry groups in your country or wherever you stay, I think that'd be really good idea to join poetry clubs when they read poetry because the intonation is quite different. To you know, and it's and it's really quite easy to follow stress and intonation in poetry because it is how it's written, and it's a lot more easier to follow. You'll have an easier time to understand. 
I feel that intonation stress and all these things are the very last to, to develop in um, accent reduction. So you want to keep an ear out for them um, and you want to know, you like, this are all the sounds I'm saying correctly. How do I now sound natural? How do I not sound like I've memorized them all? You need to change the syllable and the stress that you put in the words. Awesome. We've got loads of cool stuff coming at perfectpronunciationacademy.com. Make sure you get on there on the email list at perfectpronunciationacademy.com and I'll be sending you loads of cool stuff over there. And you can bombard me with any questions you want. See you in the next video.